Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the quarterfinals. I am Hinduman. Alongside me today is Kratata, not Gratata, it's Kratata. Five Angry Hindus versus Potato Boys. Yeah, but the five angry Hindus are going to take Mercury off the field and the Potato Boys getting rid of Nuwa right away. And yeah, we're going to do that every time. Yeah, we are. Potato Boys, back to them for their final ban. Habwa banned away by the five angry Hindus. They don't want to first pick that. What is going to be their first pick option here? There's a few things available, but what are the Potato Boys going to ban away first? Yeah, I mean... You know, we, we touched on this before. The, there's just so much to bend. Sriket, Shankui, Geb, Athena, Aphrodite, certainly a good ban as well. Comes down to the match history more often than not. Five angry Hindus have the first pick. It's up to them. What's the most OP thing in their opinion? Well, what do you think? I, you see, the thing is, I kind of know the five angry Hindus because there are, a lot of them are like loyal fans and like to watch me, and that's why they've got yeah. a team name like this. And so... I expect a Zhong pick possibly here, but I don't think okay. it's a great idea against the Potato Boys. Like, Potato Boys should know how to deal with this. Well, you know, caster bias is something we really try to avoid, but it's hard because we often know and are friends with some of the players in the Challengers Cup. So since you're biased towards the Five Anger Hindus, I'll be biased towards the Potato Boys. That's fine, we can do a bias test. That exactly. Sounds perfect. Exactly. Sounds perfect. So, so the, the Five Angry Hindus just... Poor decision. Going to pick up Jean Gui for first pick. Potato Boys are going to have a much better second pick. Sir Cat Hover looks really good. Can't wait to see what else they're going to pick, but I know it's going to be perfect. I mean, overall, if they're going to go for Sir Cat there, I, maybe they'll go for Geb here in this if they, they want to take it away from... Oh, come on. It's Sturgius. He's not going to pick Geb. Let's that, be that's real. true. That's he's... true. He probably won't. Yeah. Oh, Kumba. Kumba insta-pick. Nope. He's going to be hovered on Agni right now. So Potato Boy is looking for the jungler, looking for the mid laner overall. He's going to go back to Five Angry Hindus. Now, knowing them, they'd probably go with Geb Nemesis here. I like it. I, I think that would be... Well, you know what? They don't have to go for the Nemesis... Really, because I don't think Dirgeus would play Nemesis support, and Sir Ket means that there won't be a Nemesis in the game in in the That's jungle. True. I so... mean, they don't need to, but I think they might. That would be the thing that I consider here. I mean, I'm not trying to support the Five Angry Hindus guys. I'm not going to be biased towards them. In all honesty, I just have good inklings of what I expect them to pick at the moment. Though, they're going to have a Yarnus, which is great mobility, and it's going to be against Agni. Now, Agni does win the early game out if that one does get locked in. But as the game goes on, it basically just comes down to positioning from both of them. Both have high amounts of burst. Yeah, it definitely is very much a positional battle. They, It's sort of whoever connects in the right way just wins the fight, and it's very volatile. Rom for the ADC pick could be very, very strong. And, and yeah, I mean, the thing about caster bias, right, like... We know most of these players, That's true, uh, yeah. especially in the SPL. We've met them at lands, hung out with them. You know, yep. you, like there might be one guy that you don't really get along with, but for the most part, we like everybody. So bias is just like he can't be biased that biased yeah, when you, you like everybody. everybody. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And the Potato Boys, I mean, Sun Touch, Dirgis, I know them really well as well. Yeah. So, you know, it goes backwards and forwards. Artemis going to be picked up here to face off against Rama. The Artemis pick, interesting when Apollo's on the table, as is Anher and Neath. I mean, I'm just trying to point out with when I say Anher there and Neath, it's because they have good matchups against Rama overall. But it looks like Sun Touch just wants to pick up that Artemis there. I mean, Artemis and Rom are two very strong carry carries, right? Like, their goal in a team fight is to just do lots of damage. So that could be something that uh, Suntouch is trying to do in response. We'll see what his game plan ends up actually being once the support pick is also put in there. Athena banned away. So it looks like the Potato Boys feel like they're willing to give up Geb. They don't want to deal with Athena. They don't want to deal with that global presence. Kumba banned away, hitting Dirgeus right in the god pool. Honestly, I don't think there's anything left for him to pick. Well, he's got Gab. He, he's going to lock in the Gab. And yeah. they did give. I mean, the Hafaranga Hindus gave that up because they're going to play Ares. I can see them picking Ares because they know Dirgeus hates. Ares against Gab, yeah. and he gets really annoyed with it. So I'm expecting the Hafaranga Hindus are kind of baited into this pick. And there's the Ares hover right now. And so, we'll see. I mean, they just plays around with the Five Angry Hindus too, and that's why they have a bit of fun at this. And don't, Five Angry Hindus have come into this one. Hope, they're going to try really hard, but they realize they're up against very tough opposition. However, on paper, yeah. other than the Ares pick, the team composition so far has been pretty good. Potato Boys, though, very solid as well, crap. 
Honestly, I mean, I don't even mind the Ares pick. I think Ares is certainly viable. It's just sort of on you to make it work. Uh, kind of like Sir Ket, but Sir Ket is definitely OP, whereas Ares is just kind of good. Oh, the proxy. Yeah, the Arachne solo not going to exist for much longer in its current form. He'd probably do it with the new Arachne too. We'll see if this does get locked in, but... I think it will be. I mean, this is Proxy yeah. QQ. He's been doing oh. a lot of Arachne solo at the moment. Oh, he's switching it over. They yeah. left Nemesis on the table. I mean, Nemesis... Are we going to see solo Nemesis, do you reckon, here? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I we'll think... see in game. It could be solo Circuit as well. Uh, they're both, like, sort of equally not Simply, that great. Yeah. Yeah, they're very similar, I guess, in terms of... I guess Nemesis... Well, I don't know. I think Nemesis would probably be better off in the in the lane other than Circa. It's more that we're not going to see very often, but I think Nemesis should be a little bit more effective. Yeah, but either way, they're not solo gods. Like, they're no, not yeah, course, super course, course, course. good at it, and they're just going to try and leverage their assassin power to get lane control, and yeah. probably will be relying on jungle presence. The double assassination will be very, very strong, when it doesn't matter who's in lane, when they're both there with the jungler gank, Junkwee could be in a lot of trouble. We'll see what ends up happening with that, guys. We're going to head into this game. Five angry Hindus versus Potato, Potato boys. boys in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for the continuation, the round of eight of your or European Smite Challenger Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the quarterfinals. This is going to be five angry Hindus versus the Potato Boys. Five angry Hindus going to be starting on the bottom side of the map, the left-hand side of the spectator UI. We're going to see Jolts in the jungle playing Hun Bats, Pixie Mix in the solo lane as Jean Kui, Cover Tactician in mid lane playing Yonus, Antibaf, and DDR Ruler. Going to be rounding out the five angry Hindus playing Rama and Ares in the duo lane. What have we got on the other side, crap? Uh, on the other side, you got adapting in the jungle as Nemesis Proxy QQ playing your solo, playing Sir Ket, Sun Touch in the ADC role as Artemis, Durgius as your support, Gab in the middle lane, Arrow on sort of the god he's known for, Swagney. They make up Potato Boys. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in this game. No wards coming out from Potato Boys in the early game. Jurgis is actually saving up a lot of gold here in pocket. That's... I don't know whether that's a little bit of disrespect to the five angry Hindus that expect to win this one, so they're not going to ward and be scared of an invade. Five angry Hindus on the other side did ward early in case of the invade, and they're playing very safe, as are the potato boys. Like, both teams not wanting to try and invade and go into the enemy jungle at the early stages. So, so, uh, Emilito's watchers, or watchers, let's start with the Midas Boots Rush. Mm -hmm. If you drop a hundred of your starting gold on Geb or uh, on any support with a Watcher's build, if you don't spend it, if you let it float, you actually match the timing if you sell Watcher's Gift at minute five and buy the Midas Boots. Jerjus is actually floating more gold than that, so he's going to actually accelerate his Sov and his Midas Boots by a substantial amount. 150 gold is 30 seconds. Well, standing stock coming out from the five hungry Hindus. On the right hand side though, Potato Boys took the back harpies, then did the speed buff, and it looks like they're gonna do the blue as well. So they're gonna hit level two even quicker than they would have done already and be a little bit more advanced in that lane. Yeah, I actually really like that start. They're just gonna take advantage of their opponents doing three buffs and do three buffs themselves or three camps. Do three camps themselves. Uh, Sun Touch and Durgy is pushed under tower, as you'd expect with Rama versus Artemis. And yep. honestly, Durgis is going to be safer under tower. Geb can get really focused in this lane. Well, Adapson looking to rotate away early. He's kind of hanging around in the jungle. Going to see if he can steal some back experience. Just waiting around on the side. Mid lane, cover tactician going aggressive at the moment against Aero. Actually caught out of position a little bit by Aero, who used Path of Flames to go through the minions. Actually put the Wait, right back hand onto side, cover. Jolt's oh. in a lot of trouble. Deathbane takes him out, and Pixie makes force to back off under tower. Now invading the jungle is adapting, and it looks like... The Potato Boys have found their mark. They're going to focus Jolts out in this game, getting the early first spot onto him, taking his jungle farm. And what I love about Assassin Solos is when you get set up in lane, you can then take the jungle. 
Well, mid lane as well. Cover tactician could be in a bit of trouble here. Going to be aggressed on by Aero and adapting. Vortex comes out, but to harass, not to farm the creeps. Jeltz goes to the right hand mid back harp. He realizes they're down. Going to rotate to his speed. Find out that's still up his nemesis. Does go back to Ron Jungle. Dirge and Sunshine's going aggressive against Baff and Ruler on this side now. Ruler just needs to watch his HP a little bit here as he's not got any potions available now. So he's slowly being poked down on that side. Uh, adapting is looking to secure farm as opposed to keeping the pressure going. We'll head into his old, his own jungle, and actually recall. He's going to recall with a thousand golden hint to get his combat boots, and then likely return to left hand side, go to red, get the experience, hit level five, and look to fight. Nemesis is very good against Ares because you can help burst him down before his ultimate is uh, finished. That's really one of the best counters to Aero. Rotation mid from Proxy, looking for an opportunity on from Aero. Aero does get the stun facts of the Path of Flames. Proxy comes in, the pole's good though, gonna buy some time. Jolts is the one that may pay with his life though. Gonna get back to tower range for now. Good pole from Cover Tactician there. Just getting himself out of harm's way, but a good rotation from Proxy. Yeah, Proxy's gonna be losing two creeps there, so 50 gold it costs to make that rotation, but he more than made it up as there was a recall coming out from Yenis in the middle lane. Jolts is going to pick up a little bit of gold there, but not too much, so definitely worth it. On the right-hand side, adapting. He smells blood here, going to go for the gank on jean -Kui. This is at the time of mid-camps, so very unexpected. Pixie Mix not really paying enough attention here. Will be caught by the last breath. Push out of the tower. Retribution Shield returns some damage, and Pix knows that she is going to fall Gonna save oh, the space ultimate. And time from cover tactician. Gonna come across. Can they turn around? Proxy's out of mana here. If he gets picked off, a good pull coming out. Jolt's gonna get the overhand smash down. Proxy may go down in trade. And this is a good rotation from the hin five angry Hindus there. But mid camps both gonna now go over to the potato boys. Potato boys come out on top. Yeah, potato boys do come out on top. That return play, I want to say it was worth it just to keep Pixie in the lane. But it was sort of unfortunate that they had to give up mid camps to do that. I would have liked to see someone stay behind and secure those. Up two to one right now. Five ang sorry, Potato Boys in the lead. 900 gold, 1200 experience. No gold for you just yet. Obviously, it's only four minutes in. Big rotations to the right hand side, realistically, there. We're going to see Red Buff being started by adapting there. Arrow is going to be given that one in the middle lane overall. In terms of itemization, we can see Sun Touch working for the Devour's Gauntlets as is anti buff in this lane yet. Neither of these two hunters actually gone back to base yet. 1400 gold. On anti bath 1340 onto Sun Touch right now. Bath has returned, picked up those Devour's Gauntlets, and once Sun Touch clears that wave that's coming up next, he should also have his Devour's Gauntlets online. Looks like Dirgeus is going to be looking at 530 Midas boots, maybe a little bit sooner, which is really, really fast. Yeah, he's actually able to back it now and get them before five minutes. His Midas timing is incredibly. Oh, wow, no, sorry, I can't do math. It is going to be within the next minute, but it's going to be incredibly, incredibly fast timing on those Midas boots coming out thanks to the gold he saved in the other game, so I really like the play there. Red buff is going to go to covert tech to, or cover tactician, and he's going to head back to lane up against Arrow once again. Cover is covers up in uh, experience. Is that, I think that's down to the kill, though, isn't it? No, he didn't get the kill. He only got the assist, I guess, because of the rotation right as well. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, it's surprising that he is up in experience, actually, overall, ahead of Aero. But, I mean, Aero's done a lot of rotating as well. Has picked up some jungle. So, surprising to see he's up right-hand side, though. Pixie going aggressive. Getting aggressed on by Proxy with the death rain. Jolts in the wings on. There's the ghost pop. Fear no evil as well. Can't ambush away. That should have gone on cooldown as well, I feel. Proxy going to be able to juke away for now. Can he land the... F no, he cannot get the flying monkey space ball to land to Proxy. Gonna survive for now on that rotation out to left side down. though. Anti Baff in a lot of trouble caught by the divine judgment. We'll go up into the air. Rella onto Ares to create some spacing, but it's gonna be a very dead Rom. Dirgis will get pulled, but Tusky stuns out Ares at the perfect time. Shockwave will connect just very slice and dies. Kill goes to Sun Gold Touch. Fury. Double kill to Artemis. What does Dirgis say? How does he say it? We can do Gold Fury here. That's that's the, just for you. Whenever you play with him, he'll go, Guys, we could do Gold Fury here. That's generally how he <laughs> says it. But it doesn't look like they're going to do Gold Fury right now. The aggression in mid from Aero, though, did force Giannis back to base one more time. Pixie goes back as well. So no map presence from Five Angry Hindus here other than Jolts. The Gold Fury hasn't been started yet. It looks like Potato Boys want to try and get both these mid camps one more time. Extend their gold lead and experience lead just a little bit further. 
Yeah, and the thing about going for the mid camps as opposed to the gold tree is the mid camps have a chance of catching someone, whereas the gold tree, if they come, is that's not ideal. And the mid camps in this situation, the potato boys want five angry Hindus to show up so they can take another fight and get some more kills. And arrow is going to be able to do a lot of damage in that situation. Yeah, there's no divine judgment, there's no cataclysm, but you've got the meteors and you get the rotation from proxy. That's what counts. Speaking of rotation from proxy, he's faded out from the right hand lane, rotating between waves, and I, I love this play because it's i have map pressure i'm gonna extend that into the jungle well you're gonna see proxy pick up that heavy hammer now to continue the aggression uses the hog and a death bane clears the wave quickly pixie mix has got the warlock sash so he is stacking now jolts floating around the jungle trying to look for an opportunity somewhere at the moment with his whole jungle down he's only level eight adapting level nine and still has farm available to him so you can see that the jungle's a little bit further behind at the moment everybody else though Pretty much, oh, DDR ruler, level 6 to Dejus is level 9. He's not been able to rotate for these camps at all. Really starting to fall behind there. Yeah, I mean, there's a 4,000 experience difference, and a big part of that is going to be the Ares. Tusky is going to come out, but, oh, actually will connect to both targets. Trap will not, so Sun Touch drops his ultimate, does not have beads, and has to really respect the Ares now, as DD ruler does have his ultimate available. Big rotation to the left-hand side, adapting. Has Devon Judgment up, could go for a kill if DD Ruler steps out of line, but it's not going to happen. Oh, and now middle cover lane, tactician. cover tactician. He used his portal, so he's not going to have that to get down. away. Might have to ult Devon Judgment, but that's just going to speed up adapting. Tries to get to the wall, able to get it. Oh, the bomb just connect. barely doesn't connect. Just barely doesn't connect. Force the ultimate out there one more time. Right hand side, Pixie Mix getting aggressive and again. Has to go back to the tower. Can she bring down the kill? I don't think she can. Will the tower help her out? That's the question. Not enough. The card's not going to bring him down in time. Pixie Mix falls proxy. QQ stays alive, and you can see Potato Boys floating around this Gold Fury looking for a pick so they can aggress on it. Yeah, yeah, they really just want to be able to get this Gold Fury. Proxy's doing very well for himself in that long lane. Got Beads Rank 1 just in case, and a big part of that is the anti peel able to remove the stun and keep aggressing. Arrow gets some nice damage oh, in the middle bath. lane. Yeah, it's Bath and a lot of trouble. Shockwave will connect in the nice rolling assault there to get out. Didn't use it to assault, but the rolling part was important. The rolling part really was important there, just to catch himself from getting caught out. Blue Boss going to respawn right hand side. You can see the Potato Boys one Forcer Care is available right now. The other is due to respawn soon as well. Nine minutes in. I mean, it's been quite an active game overall, but Potato Boys definitely getting themselves lead. Two point two k gold, five and a half thousand experience, and you know their level of play, I guess, is what's really starting to show through here. Yeah, there's definitely a skill difference between these two teams and. You know, that's to be expected. Potato Boys are very, very strong. And the fact that they're only up 2,000 gold, 5,000 experience at the 10 minute mark is honestly pretty good for the five angry Hindus. I mean, these guys are definitely near or at the top of the Challenger Cup. They won a best of three for the finals. Yeah, oh, Pixie last week. could be in trouble again against Proxy here. Deathbane's going to connect as well. Has to use the ultimate defensive loop. There's the last breath. So that heal's not going to work. And Pixie gets brought down one more time in this solo lane against Proxy overall. Jolt's trying to rotate around there overall. Cover needs to watch himself in mid lane, but DDR Ruler turns up, gets a good chain onto Aero so he can't path the flames away. Not a lot of damage coming off that though, because he's still only level 8. And Mira left, adapting, invading the blue. Yeah, Adapting's going to be able to take this blue pretty quickly. Hog just to secure that one. He's actually going to go to Durgius. Getting that CDR and keeping his mana up. Now looking for a pick. Ares could be in trouble. Not slid up by Suntouch. Missing that skill shot. But presses the two to go faster. Get some auto attacks. Forces the Ares away. Sun could be in trouble here. He's in a bit of a bad spot. Needs to just watch himself overall. Will he be able to get out? Big stun coming out from Arrow, though. There are lots of bombs running out of cover. Trying to run away because he just used Fader Weevil defensively there. The shield comes out from Durgis. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Sun Touch does get hit by the ultimate, but Beads is used defensively there to allow him to escape the problem. Adapting, looking for some aggression onto Bath. Needs to watch himself as the chains connect. That means he can't dash away. Meanwhile, though, Proxy dives in mid lane and picks up Jouts for a free pick, and it looks like he wants more. Yeah, Proxy's doing so well. anti in a lot of trouble. Deathbane on cooldown, but it can be used to chase. No, they're just going to turn on DD Ruler. Not really going to chase the kill. Instead, we can do Gold Fury here. And uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Potato Boy's pulling hey guys, the bird. We can do Gold Fury here. 
That's pretty much how Deja says it. And they're going to bring it down very, very quickly. 8 to 1 now. Gold stretches to 4.4k. Ex experience of 8,000 right now. And it's just like Potato Boys have turned up the heat. You can see Proxy going in with the ambush in mid lane. Looking for extra aggression. Bomb lands from Aero. Proxy takes a bit of poke. You can see Pixie going aggressive though. She realizes an opportunity here. She can get a bit of damage on, but ambush going to buy Proxy enough distance to survive as the ghost chase, a da chase him down. Not enough damage. Yeah, and so it's just not able to get a turnaround from the five angry Hindus. And now with 5,000, well, 4,500 gold and 8,000 experience differentiating these two teams. And Potato Boy starting to build into their mid game, late game items. Honestly, once Sturgius finishes his sob, which is going to take another three to four minutes, so a 16 minute sob, which is two minutes out of schedule, by the way. But. That's going to be really when the Potato Boys get aggressive, but right now they're getting aggressive onto Pixie Mix, or rather just Proxy. Nice use of the poison. Won't have the effect of his catalyst, but Last Breath should secure the kill. Oh, I don't know. It's close, but Pix Sorry, Proxy's going to go down in trade, though. Good rotation from Jaltz, but in him doing so, the mid camps are respawning again. Potato Boys in position to take the left ones. Will they look for the right ones? I'm not sure. They know Fear No Evil is down, so they could look for the aggression ahead. They're just rolling straight through those minions, and he's ready for that. Sun Touch, though, does find a solo kill onto Bath on the left hand side and now he's going to get some free tower pressure on as the mid camps on the right do go to the Hindus. Yeah, Hindus able to secure that one solo kill though means the tower's probably going to go down that's just the nature of Artemis in the middle lane the Hindus are heading over and adapting is not really going to get caught here he's going to be okay. I was, was going to say something but it just completely slipped my mind. It's just gone. It's just it's, gone. It's gone. gone. Probably oh, left hand side, Ruler going aggressive onto Sun Touch, going to use the ultimate, but BG is one more time. Space and time coming out from Cover Tactician, they're looking for regression here with Jels behind. Good pull, they're going to buy some time, the Vortex connects. Jels going aggressive with the monkey, Sun Touch overstayed his welcome just a little bit, paid the price. Meanwhile though, in that, that happening, right hand side aggression, they're just trying to steal away the blue. Pixie is isolated against three members here, she needs to watch herself, there's a big rotation, and that's just a one for one across the map. Now, one for one across the map, I remember what it was. So the circuit play from Proxy there that ended up resulting in his death has to do with his use of Catalyst. Catalyst removes the poison effects on the target regardless of the number of poison effects there are. So if there's one effect, then you auto tech, it's gone. You can't get the percent max health damage. Because Proxy didn't take advantage of that, he didn't kill Pixie as fast as he could have wanted, and then he ended up getting cleaned up on the back End. So oh, Proxy going it. aggressive again. Going to miss the death bane, but the last breath connects, forcing him back a little bit. The poison's ticking away. It's going to be enough. It doesn't apply to anybody else. But now you can see the combination of potato boys as they're diving into cover tactician. The double assassin combination working well for them. Arrow's going to get a good start to ruler. Another follow-up from the other assassins coming as well. Dirge just rotates in, goes, hey guys, I was around for the help, honest. Now they're going to look to pressure down mid tower. Baff's the only one here to defend. Pixie's trying to come in, but I think this tower's going to fall. Are they going to try and fight? Well, Pixie looks like she wants to. But immediate disengage coming out from the Potato Boys. Pixie's all only going to land a little bit of damage onto Dirges for the time being. 14 to 3. It's looking good for the Potato Boys. Nice 180 stun from Arrow just to create a bit more space on the left hand side. Sun Touch. AFK pushing that tower yet again. He's learned from Zapman. He hates towers. I mean, he doesn't need to do anything else right now. I mean, the rest of his team are doing all the big flashy plays. Sun Touch just has to farm. I mean, he's 3-1-0 himself. He's picked up enough kills in this lane, did get a solo kill onto Bath, which means that anti Bath on that Llama realizes that he has to watch himself against the Artemis right now. He's behind in terms of build, and so he's really going to struggle a little bit. On the left-hand side, a rotation coming out from the Hindus, now sitting down 6,500 gold and 14,000 experience directly oh, hitting the point of no return, and here it comes. anti a lot of damage up in the air, but killed before he can even get there. DD Ruler now in trouble. Slowed. Surrender vote has started. The question is, do the Hindus know when they've been beaten, or do they think that they can win this game? I, I believe they know when they've been beaten. Most of the time we'll find out though. But five angry hinders, th three to seventeen right now. Second goal fury is going to be available very soon. The rest of the potato boys though marching down left hand side as proxy goes back to farm the solo side. Pixie's looking around in the enemy jungle, see if she can find something. I guess she was just trying to juke out. Meanwhile, on the left, it looks like they're going to surrender. The five angry Hindus. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Five angry Hindus. I know these guys well, and I did say if you beat surrender don't drag it out you know you know when you've been yeah. beat then move on to the next round in fairness they put up a decent performance obviously potato boys just outclassed them
Yeah, I mean, they were outclassed, but, you know, it's still a match where you can take something away. You can make adjustments. Oh, sure. And, and the next week, you can say, all right, what went well? What could we do, uh, could have done better? Where did we go wrong in the picks? They didn't think that uh, Potato Boys would pick Nemesis, but it turns out Proxy will play Serket. Um And, you know, they also, they got here. This is the round of eight. This is kind of a big deal. I mean, gets to the quarterfinals, yeah, good for them. Yeah. Good for them moving on. But Potato Boys do march on. I mean, they did come second last time round, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, they did. No, they were uh, second first. Se- oh, they came first. Why are they second seed then? Uh, maybe they came in second. I confused. Yeah, they are, sec- they are second. They are second. Okay, they came um, second last week, so yeah. Potato Boys moving on to the semifinals. On the other half of the bracket, though, we do know Agilitas is still marching on. They're currently up against Hodor Esports. Fourth place team last week, Wooten Croco are currently still marching through as well. They're up against Heroes and Zeros at the moment. And meanwhile, Lazy Unicorn's probably going to be facing up upcoming stars in the other quarterfinal match, guys. We'll wait for these games to get done, and then we'll be back with the next round. But Potato Boys, still looking to get to the finals again. They're going to have a hard matchup, whoever they're going to be against, though, correct? Yeah, we're going to be looking at Agilitas versus No Wards in the next round match. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 